My bad, gangsters. I got cut off. I only have seven minutes and 22 seconds left. Okay, so I'm going to have to delete a lot of things on my phone. A lot, a lot of things. Oh, fuck, that sucks now. I... Anyway, so when I came off, I got this hype, like hype, like my soul just like got fired up. Well-being through the roof. I mean, I, I almost think that what happened to me was an instance of random acts of neuro activity. Like it, it was, it's just, I don't know if something rewired my brain to be normal again or somewhat above normal in terms of, you know, feeling about yourself, like well-being. I was just wired. Like I, I music all day, every day. And I know people say, oh, you know, music is great. Music is great after. And it is, it really is like, it helps. I couldn't, if you guys want music therapy, if you want me to send you a list of songs to listen to that will literally help certain parts of what you're going through, depending on, it varies, all depends on what you tell me, I'll help you out. I'll send you some things that help me. Um, but I, I wired, like, I still feel it. I still feel like right now I want to run. I just want to go for a run. I you know, it's, I can, and I'm going to do it. Gray days don't depress me anymore. Like, I don't get depressed by gray days anymore. They just don't sadden me out. They don't, they don't sadden me out anymore. Tricking your brain into, into things is possible. You can trick your brain into anything. I believe. I'm not saying it's true. I'm not going to confirm shit with anybody, but in my eyes... I believe your brain can even produce its own partial opioid agonist. I really do. You can do everything in your head. Stop being a jackass and chasing the drug. <laughs> no, um, really though, your brain can do absolutely anything. Even, and I don't think any human being on earth has ever even reached... It's full potential, obviously. It's, it's, and I'm not talking about using more percentage of your brain because that's actually a myth. Using like a percentage of your brain, it, it's not, it's not a real statistic. But it, it's all, it's all in your head. Like, I don't know how else to put it. Your head is like, it's another universe. Like it really, it's another universe. You could watch something fall and crumble and die in front of you and still feel happy. Sounds crazy, right? Your brain can do anything. But when you hijack it with drugs, you're allowing it to pretty much rape your mentality. Pardon me. I know the word's sensitive to people. But it's what it feels like mentally. Like... I, you just, you know, you, you become addicted to it. And it's like, you know, right when you feel like, you know, I'm going to stop, it takes you right up. It keeps doing that and doing it. I had to learn to hate the fucking drug. I just, I hated it before I went into withdrawal. I did have depression. Um, I wasn't suicidal. I was just like, let's get this fucking over with. Like, you, you have to learn to hate it or you... you if you're doing it temporarily, you're going to go right back to it. Stop lying and telling people that you're going to try to change just because the drugs aren't around anymore. That's not what it is. You have to hate it. You have to hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Hate it. Just learn to hate it. Trick your brain into hating the shit. Hating it. Like you would kill it. And you never killed somebody in your life. You would kill it if it was a person. Like hate it. That's my advice to you guys. Hate the shit out of it. If you want to talk shit below in the comments, say all the shit you want about your your drug of choice. In the below, write what you hate about your drug of choice. Just just tell me. I'm interested to know what you guys think and what you guys are addicted to. All of the loopy shit we're all fucked up on. Anyway, I'm clean now. Nothing in me. I don't want anything. I wanted to smoke a little weed, but I was like, I just don't even feel like smoking weed. I, I just miss 
feeling. I miss feeling, you know? Now when I have depression, like I said, there's a wall in between me and it. So now I can, like, pretty much, it's like depression screaming at me and I'm wearing a fucking headset. Like a head, like I can't hear it. I've never done that in my life. I've never had the power to even do that. My depression was like a demon. When I finally got off the fentanyl, it was like a spell was broken. Who knows? I could have been cursed. You guys really never fucking know. What if I was cursed to be addicted to something and destroy part of my life? You know? (laughs) Whatever. (laughs) Felt like a curse was lifted. And... No, I, I honestly don't believe in curses, man. Every everything can be reversed. You have to you have to literally do it inside of your own head. Don't question it. Don't go researching things because everything that you need to know about the answer is in your head. It might not even be through English language that you're speaking to yourself. It might just be through pure energy. Energy translates into thoughts and feelings and words. So if you're feeling negative energy, if you're feeling negative all the time, you're producing negative energy. We all know that. Positivity is the way. And here's my key. Here's how I know, and it sounds so cliche, but here's how I know. Positivity is the way because if you're one of those people that hates yourself, truly hates yourself, you hate everything in life, you have, you're truly an asshole. You really just deep down are a hateful person. You're not going to live that long. A lot of these people get diseases that progress quicker and quicker the more negative they are. But a lot of these positive people, they tend to stay healthier, they want to be healthier, and they live longer, happier lives. If I put any negative on any positive, the positive is going to go down, even through fucking mathematics. It's always the positive that wins. You need to change your mindset. The next video I'm doing is going to be on rituals, and I'm probably going to go back to this one a little bit too. Just, you know, transitioning. Sorry for all the words, guys. I'm so scatterbrained after coming out of that dark fucking hole that I'm never coming back from ever again. I'm not, I'm not doing that again. If you need to reach out to me, you'll find me on Facebook, I'm sure. Or Instagram.